that you can't find the show anywhere. It's not streaming, nothing. And my question is why? What could be so bad that even the internet doesn't want you to see? I pulled together the weirdest clips, like literally. They are mm -hmm. melting faces. One false move and you can kill the nipple. <laughs> The Swan was a reality TV show made in 2004. During the show, regular women underwent massive plastic surgery. Do you remember Pimp My Ride? It was kind of like that, but instead of putting a DVD player on a Honda Civic, they put a fresh new nose on a mom from Wisconsin. And safely say you look absolutely nothing like your former self. And before we get too far into this, I just want to say there's nothing wrong with plastic surgery. The world is literally on fire. You just got to do whatever makes you happy. However, what I am against is using people's pain for views. Just look at how every episode starts. I was told I had a face for radio. When I bought my car, I wanted tinted windows. I don't want people looking at me when I'm driving because I am trying to hide from the outside world. I was easily selected to be the witch. I'm not just nothing. I will be something. <laughs> hate this. And who better to help these ugly ducklings than a team of fairy godmothers? Or in this case, a team of absolute monsters from the upside down. Let's start with the lead doctor, Randall Hayworth, MD. Actually, Randall was the only reason we were even able to find any of this footage. She does have a rather bland bone structure to her face. This man ruined the faces and self-esteem of a generation, and he was like, gotta make sure I save this. I can't believe he's so proud. She's got a lot of interesting work that needs to be done on her face. We have to give your nose a waste. He also apparently has his own lingerie brand, which we don't have enough time to unpack. Do you think if you get a new nose that he throws in a pair of panties for free? The rest of the cast includes a trainer and a therapist who was top of her class at a totally legit online therapy school. I didn't know you could become a doctor online. <laughs> Okay, this game I've been playing, first of all, not only are they supporting this video, so let's support them and show them some love back. The game is called Two Dots. There's 150 million downloads. I mean, do you blame them? It's free on iOS and Android. The design is so realistic, I can't speak. The, the music is zen, the vibe is up. Oh, I came up the sky, there's even more to discover. Oh, I found something, I found something, it's a target. Okay, I found one, I found one. Okay, okay, let's find, no, is that not one? You're not a target? Then what are you? It's not a target. So if you want to join in on the fun, there's a QR code on the screen and a link in the description. Now let's get back to the video. Yeah. Woo. Call me suck up, but I don't like when people get their medical license from the same place that I get my Harry Styles fan fiction. This cast of ghouls is all rounded by host Amanda Byron, who's as hot as she's shady and she's really hot really shady. Can I ask you a question? What did you do with Sylvia? <laughs> she talks about insecurities. Bestie, why did you do her dirty with those air quotes? Why are you acting like insecurities? Just some made up thing. You're literally fueling them. By the way, all this action, the sad intros. I hate looking at myself. And all the insults. In her own words, she looked like a witch. That's an incredibly difficult nose to do. She doesn't have the greatest of genetics. And I'm wondering what we're going to do with her stomach. I can put her on all the setups in the world. That's a tough one to tackle. She does have a rather bland bone structure to her face. The swan is a reference to a fairy tale called The Ugly Duckling, which is weird because I don't remember the duck getting a BBL. The moral of that story is if people are making you feel bad, find new people that make you feel good. And the producer heard all of that and was like, yeah, yeah, but like, how will we know if that baby duck was hot? The swan said, inner beauty, who? Self-acceptance, don't know her. The ugly duckling said, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And the swan was like, bet. It happens inside this clearly haunted mansion. I don't know why they're comparing this to the ugly duckling. It's literally the plot of Beauty and the Beast. Except instead of capturing this woman and turning them into silverware, they just fork up their face. And if that wasn't scary enough, let's scrub up and get to the consultation. Correction of witch's chin. Do you think witch's chin is a medical term? Carrie's dental plan will include gum tissue recontouring, bleaching, da Vinci veneers, and deep cleaning. What the heck is gum contouring? Is that something I need to be worried about now? Well-defined gums? New insecurity unlocked. Don't look. The doctors play it off like they're just giving their expert opinion, but in reality, they're tearing people 
down. It's like they're worried just one compliment will give these women enough confidence to reconsider the whole procedure. So they need to keep insulting them to convince both the audience and the contestants that surgery is the only way out. Again, I think the biggest issue here is not plastic surgery because if that's something you want to do and it's something that's going to make you happier, then you should have the freedom to do it without judgment. The real issue is that these women suffer from deeply rooted trauma, self-esteem issues, and depression. And that's not something that a tummy tuck can fix. It's not like a doctor can say, we're going to move the fat from your knees to your lips and that'll fix the relationship with your dad somehow. And the worst part is that most of the time, they're not even doing this for themselves. They're doing it for someone else. And one night, my husband was in a bar, and this girl kissed him. He kissed her back. I didn't leave him because I guess I'm afraid that nobody else would ever love me. Excuse me? She's not even mad at him? Like, she's literally rewarding the bad behavior with a hot new bot. This walking coals catalog of a man doesn't deserve you. Genetically, she will never be like a fashion model, and I don't think any cosmetic surgeries will change that buddy you need boundaries not chest implants and the best thing about boundaries is they don't get saggy with age Ow. the show ultimately exploits these women for views and the producers double down on this to make the show as entertaining and shocking as possible first of all the contestants don't seem to have any say in the procedures they get None. for example sylvia mentions that she just wants her ears pinned if i could do anything that i want I would fix my ears. But Dr. Hayworth has other plans. All the way up underneath the breast here. Uh -huh. So we'll be getting this portion, this portion, this portion, this portion, and finally these portions. Remember, liposuction is not a license to eat. <sighs> wow. I can't believe that. Andrea has some anger management issues. She's now aware of them. I don't think we were able to solve them in the program, but hopefully she'll go home and realize that she has these issues to work out. Wait, and does she even get her ears pinned? They're literally bullied and put down when the producers think they're not working hard enough and then accused for having anger issues. Whoa. I think I look pretty damn good and as soon as I tone up, I'm gonna be smoking. People have been trying to weigh you and you have a fit. No, I don't wanna no, be no, weighed. No. I don't understand why it's such a big deal that I don't wanna weigh in right at this moment. I'm running off more than I have to go down and get on the scale, but right now, I just want to be left alone. No, I haven't. Justice for Andrea. How dare you eat what you want and be proud of your progress. Didn't you read the fine print, Andrea? We own your soul. Oh, and, and the worst part. Yeah, there's a worst part. They don't get to see themselves for three months. No mirrors, no pictures. They even went so far as to make sure all the silverware is not reflective. Besties. Has anyone ever looked at themselves in a spoon and been like, oh yeah, baby. They're only allowed to see themselves once the audience is present as some sort of like grand reveal. They can't see themselves until we see them. That's seriously, that's messed up. And if this emotional roller coaster wasn't bad enough, each episode features two contestants who are then pitted against each other to compete at some beauty pageant. And how much importance they place on this beauty pageant is sickening. It's gonna be a really difficult recovery for Lorraine. She's had extensive facial surgery on top of radical dental work. She may not heal in time for the pageant. Andrea comes into the gym and constantly complains. She needs to turn her attitude around if she even has a chance at making it to the pageant. Oh no, how will Andrea ever live with herself if she doesn't compete in the plastic surgery pageant? It's been a dream of hers since she was a little girl. I don't get what they're judging the contestants on even. Like they all went to the same plastic surgeon. Are we just like evaluating his work? Also, what does the winner even get? Are they giving them more plastic surgery? Or are they gonna take the plastic surgery they gave them back. Is Dr. Hayworth gonna be like, got your nose? No, seriously, I'm taking back the nose I gave you. I wish I could say that we've learned so much and that reality TV shows are way less problematic now, but... I noticed that your legs were kind of like mine. <laughs> Will I have trouble picking you up? And the truth is, we still have a long way to go in terms of making media that doesn't give people body dysmorphia. But thankfully these days, there's so many more opportunities for all body types to shine. And I hope with all of those options, you watch things that make you feel good about your body because it's a good one. And if you ever feel like changing it, just make sure that you're doing it for you. Not for your crush, not for the mean voice in your head, and not for the views. Always do what makes you feel good. So what do you think? Do you think the show needs to be wiped from the internet? Let me know in the comments or let me know if you want to see where the ladies from the swan are now i ran and i demanded my face back spoiler alert it ain't pretty don't forget to download two dots